subscribe to my channel tap the like icon for new video update hello and welcome to globemit and also welcome to this uh, autocad 2d and 3d video tutorials this video tutorial will take you from basics of autocad 2d and 3d to the very advanced level i recommend you to go through all these videos and on one day you will be perfect in doing autocad projects available in various websites after watching this videos try to practice as much as possible and i guarantee you that you will be master in autocad 2d and 3d so i will go through 3d video tutorials also but after the completion of this 2d 2d video series so let's get started so first thing so what is autocad so autocad is created by the autodesk company so is mostly used technical drawing program and where with more than 4 million users according to autodesk cad stands for computer aided drawing but can also stand for computer aided drafting and the first version of the autocad running under dos so that is came out in uh, 1982 so autocad was first significant cad program to run as a desktop computer and this autodesk is the most popular drawing program so many student versions are also available for free online at students.autodesk.com uh, there you can find autocad softwares architecture softwares mechanical revit inventor civil mep etc many various uh, softwares you can get it for free only for students so what are the main capabilities so you can draw 2d line drawings 3d constructions rendering part assemblies much more so next what are the major disciplines that the autocad has so mainly uh, it includes architectural and engineering construction next is geographic information system that is gis surveying and civil engineering facilities management electrical and electronics mechanical multimedia etc so this is about introduction of this uh, autocad and uh, so now we will start this autocad software so when you open this autocad software so you will get uh, this picture so uh, currently this is in 2d draft model so drafting and annotation that is 2d model only so here in this thing and this is spacing what you are seeing is called model space okay so here many options are there so i will try to tell uh, one by one so this one is uh, AutoCAD version number. So basically I'm using now 2014 and uh, now 2017 also available. Next this thing is a uh, standard toolbar. Here you have pull down bars. Next style bars. You have edit toolbars you have layers toolbar you have the scroll bars also here for vertical and horizontal you have ucs icon that shows axes x y and z so this is a command line next you have status bar also okay next so here we have very many, many shortcut uh, keys uh, you can see here uh, basic uh, drawing tools like line polyline circle arc and many and here also we have modify tool 
modify commands move copy stretch mirror fillet trim extend and also so on here you can find text linear leader that is arrow type of uh, shape and you can you have insert create edit and measurements and all so but uh, basically what i recommend you that uh, don't go through these bars toolbars so because uh, it gives only a limited access that means uh, you cannot uh, uh, you cannot get uh, faster the commands uh, in order to get faster you uh, try to get um, your own commands that means you have line means uh, you can directly type uh, uh, l i n e line so you will get line directly from this command line and if you want circle simply type circle and you will get that command also that means uh, if you want to uh, any type of other commands uh, you need to go here and you need to search where the command is and all and you will uh, get a short of time also so and i i suggest you just to don't go through those uh, toolbars uh, just to prefer this uh, command line also because this is a teacher your teacher and it gives all the necessary steps that you want to do okay and uh, so first i will start with the basic commands and uh, next uh, coming videos i will try to upload more and more videos uh, that you can be master in this autocad 2d and 3d so the very first basic uh, thing is uh, line command before that i want to tell you that uh, main aspect uh, this is state about the status bar here you have many commands so as you can see here uh, infer constraints also there and the snap mode and you have grid display f7 is the shortcut key if you type f7 on your keyboard so if you you, you can click there also and uh, you will get a uh, switch off you can uh, switch off or switch on your grid next uh, you have this uh, ortho mode shortcut key is f8 so mode is uh, you can draw straight lines uh, whether it is horizontal or vertical you can draw straight lines so this is about ortho mode or if you want to draw an inclined line that means you need to switch off this ortho mode to get inclined line otherwise straight line means ortho mode should be on so next uh, we have polar tracking also and these on uh, and you have object snap f3 and uh, 3d object snap and this one in uh, object snap uh, os uh, shortcut key is f3 so this indicates what uh, end point uh, midpoint corner point and uh, much more that means uh, whenever you want to do the uh, drawing very accurately so you can use this command okay uh, if you right click here and go to settings so you can observe that uh, uh, we have endpoint midpoint center node quadrant intersection extract extensions parallel so now only the important one you can be you can make it on otherwise uh, you need to switch off and you want center endpoint midpoint these are all important one and this node is not much important quadrant also intersection also extension also insertion also perpendicular also tangent also and nearest is okay and this one is also important the apparent insertion intersection no parallel we don't want and the most important is the nearest endpoint midpoint and center so make these options uh, switch on and uh, all other thing is in off mode and click ok so then you have object snap tracking and all much more and most important things are this grid if you want you can switch on or you can switch off and ortho straight line and uh, oh yes object snap and points midpoint like those things okay okay before that uh, whenever you start autocad drawing first you need to save this file first go to file here new select new 
in this thing you should select a cad here a cad is there select that one you open it and this will be the your new project here so what are the things you need to do first go to unit section that is you need to set the units first un enter you will get units command here whatever the type you want you can uh, select architectural decimal engineering fractional scientific here i will select decimal and precision also whatever the precision you needed you can select that one and here insertion scale also so some more they have used millimeters centimeters meters kilometers uh, inches also i will take meter and click ok and now unit has set to meter and, and precision also set it so now the next important step is so go to options so again no don't need to uh, search for the option menu here and uh, there just click uh, type option op op directly gives you options so i will type op enter you will get a option toolbar so in this thing uh, you have many more files display open and save plot and publish and all here in open and save uh, uh, make sure that uh, this automatic save option is uh, on if it is off make it switch on and and here so minutes between saves that means it automatically saves the project after the specified time so don't keep very less like one minute one minutes two minutes because uh, whenever you want to uh, do the project uh, after every two minutes it automatically saves and uh, it will not allow you to do the drawings so because that circle type of uh, saving button uh, comes for every two minutes so uh, i prefer preferably tell you that uh, you make sure that keep uh, an average time like um, seven minutes five minutes or seven minutes like that okay that means uh, after uh, for every five five minutes it automatically saves the project next uh, is uh, you have many more options you can go through those things and um system user interfaces drafting and in drafting you can auto snap make a size you can be you can vary with the size from small to big and and here aperture size that also you can be you can adjust here the so here you have uniform background uniform background his black color default uh, you can change this to white also apply and close you see you can see here white appears otherwise you can make it a uh, black only here uniform background you can change the colors whatever the colors 3d auto snap maker grid minor lines you can do many more things so just go through all those things and I have many more things here just to go through once speed break size and all you can select here click apply and ok so now all the necessary things you have set it now so now I will uh, draw the basic command line so type L enter so I'm showing the specify first point I will click here first point and I can draw anywhere so i will make uh, this ortho mode on i will get stripe line so now i set it units for meters that means whatever the length i type here it takes in meters i will type 100 enter that means escape so now you draw a line of 100 meter length so next is circle command circle is c just to see is enough the first one you only get you will get circle so now it's showing specify center point click anywhere on this model space now you can draw a circle of any size so now it's showing specify radius of circle or diameter so now it is uh, default it has taken radius type the radius that you want i will type 5 meter 5 enter so now this 5 meter radius circle has drawn 
and you can draw arc also a and a directly taking arc only click arc now specify start point of arc i will click here and again it's showing specify second point so i will click somewhere here and it is showing specify end point of arc so end point you can select anywhere any type of arc you can draw here i will click here so now we can see even arc has strong okay so same type you have many more commands next command is rectangle rec enter it's showing specific first corner point i will select here click here and it's showing other point you can click anywhere but uh, if you want a specified um, size you can type at uh, 5 comma 10 5 comma 10 5 comma 10 enter sorry it has taken at comma so at after it you should not put comma at 5 comma 10 enter so now you can see here one rectangle has drawn which having uh, 5 is x5 and y it has taken 10 5 comma 10 means uh, we have drawn a rectangle okay so you can draw polygon also for polygon you can type p o l the shortcut is polygon is p o l enter so polygon enter number of sides what is polygon means uh, a shape which has more than three four sides correct three and more than three sides is called polygon uh, now you have you need to center uh, you need to enter number of sides uh, here default by default it has four i will take uh, six enter now it's showing specify center of polygon i will take here click and it is taking enter an option inscribed in circle or circumscribed about circle so you can select inscribed here click here and you got the polygon one two three four five six sides polygon okay so like this you can draw many more commands you have many thing here you can draw sp line also sp line sp line here so, so what this sp line is a special type of line of smooth curve see specify first point click here and it's showing you can switch on this uh, stripe line ortho mode you can type here here you can type here you can you can type here you can type there anywhere whatever the shape of whatever the shape you want from this line command you can type like that okay so after this enter you got the smooth curve by this sp line make sure that sp line is a smooth curved line you can draw so like this you have many more commands i will try to uh, explain all those commands in future videos so if you like these videos uh, like share and don't forget to subscribe to this globe make channel and if you have any doubts any clarification uh, you can ask in comment box thank you for watching subscribe to my channel tap the like button new video update